Welcome back to All The Gear. Today on All The Gear, I'm going to be releasing this. This is a modular 3D printable chicken feeder. This is the second type of 3D printable chicken feeder that I've designed. And I designed it because some of my girls are quite picky. And the last 3D printable chicken feeder was used by about four of my six hens. And I needed to design one that was more accessible to all of the hens, no matter their intellectual capabilities. This 3D printable chicken feeder solves a problem that I'm having right now where I'm leaving my chickens for about a week. And I need a chicken feeder that will keep the grain to my chickens over a longer period of time. So this modular chicken feeder actually works with 150 millimeter. PVC pipe in addition to the separate parts that I've created so that you can print the entire feeder without having to buy anything. The reason I've made it compatible with a 150 millimeter pipe is because it may be cheaper for some people to purchase this than filament per kilogram. There are multiple parts to this chicken feeder. There is the feeder base. This I have designed specifically so that the chickens can access and also remove any fine particulate, but not scrape out too much of the chicken feed. As you can see, the top funnels the grain into the back and the grain falls into these catchments so that the chickens can feed. On the back, I've designed a fixing point that has a hook that you can mount to a wall or a post or a solid object, or the whole thing sits upright on the ground on its own. There are extension pieces. So you can extend this as much as you want, and it gives the chicken feeder pretty much an infinite capacity. On the top piece, we have a hanging point so that you can mount two points so that you stabilize the whole chicken feeder. And it also has a hinged lid, which suits an M8 bolt. So a bolt will just slide through the back like so, and it hinges with some catch points so that it clips into place rather nicely. If you have the Bamboo Labs AMS or some other multicolor 3D printer, you can print the All The Gear No Idea logo on the top. The top is recessed by 0.002 of a millimeter. The paint program within the Bamboo Lab slicer and however you paint your 3D printable objects will pick up the logo and will allow you to print it if you would like this on your chicken feeder. It will not cause any artifacts if you have not got a multicolor Print. Okay, first of all, I want to show you how to assemble this with the PVC pipe and we'll put it out and then we're going to have a look at the multi-part print and I'll show you how to stick that together as well. So first of all, I've designed these prints to be printed completely without supports. Now I had to overhang that rain shade just to get it far enough out. You can just add in supports if you don't like the artifacts that are on the surface of the print. All these print files are available on my Patreon, which is linked in the description under the All The Gear tier. So this was my first trial run with the 150 millimeter PVC pipe. So I did it without glue just to make sure that the seeds flowed correctly down into the base and it worked really well. Uh, all the seeds filled up nicely without overflowing. So I decided to design a lid for the top this is based on an upcoming design. I've adjusted the design a little bit so that it is a bit more user-friendly. I glued the PVC onto the PET-G. Now I've done a lot of testing with PVC glue and it works really good with PET-G filament. PVC pipe glues really well with PET-G. I would recommend using PET-G for this print because it is UV stable and I know that it works with this glue. Now the fixings for this print are all M8 bolts and it all just bolts together. You can see the lid just bolts onto the top here and it closes really nicely. So with all the parts glued together and working, I filled it up so that I could test it out on the chickens. And 
immediately I saw that it worked better than the other design. The chickens can actually see the feed in this design and immediately even the chickens that didn't like the other 3D printable design, the bucket design, started to eat out of this chicken feeder. Okay, so that worked a treat and I'm quite happy with how the 150 millimeter pipe version worked. And after I designed that and made it, I decided that I wanted to make one that was 3D printable because I think this is actually gonna be cheaper for a lot of people. So, to stick these parts together, it's exactly the same process as the 150 millimeter PVC. This PVC glue works absolutely perfectly with PETG. So that is what I'd recommend printing these out of, the PETG filament. We put our PVC plumbing glue around the outside and we push our piece into place like so. That will glue the two sections together and we can do that for all of our sections as high as you want. So it makes it pretty much an infinite capacity within reason. And just make sure you line the top up with the hanging points as well. Like so. And to the top, we add the lid and our bolt. Like so. And we just tighten that nut. Perfect. And there we have our chicken feeder assembled. And we can wait for that to dry and put it next to our other chicken feeder. So I really like both of these designs. It just depends on whether this 150 millimeter pipe is a cheaper alternative to the printable sections. I have changed the design a bit from this design. As you can see, the latch is just a bit harder to get a hold of. And I changed that over to this simple design uh, where there's nothing impeding your hand from just opening it up. I'm actually super happy with how these turned out. And I am back from my holiday now and the feed was kept up to the chickens all that time, which gave me peace of mind throughout my trip. And I'm stoked that I was able to create this solution for myself and hopefully for you as well. If you'd like to see more content like this and this, let me know in the comments below some 3D printable solutions that you'd like to see around your property and maybe I can create them for you. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of All The Gear. All of the print files are available on my Patreon, which is the Hucho's Patreon, linked in the description of every video. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope I've left you with some ideas. I'll see you next time on all the gear.